adding geolocation information to the request of Nginx, which holds data like lat long or the city for the IP address of the client that is making the request, which is then passing through your Nginx web server. That's what we're going to see in this video. Stick with me to learn more. Hello, what's up guys? Medium Guy here. I hope you're learning more day by day. And in the previous video, we saw how to use the observability stack, the GeoIP API service, which actually exposes the MaxMind GeoIP database as a REST API, which then can be easily integrated with other services. So in this specific video, we're going to see how to integrate it with Nginx, using the auth request module that is built in inside the Nginx web server. So without any delay, let's get down to work. So I'm in the observability stack, GeoIP API repository, and this is a total overview of the thing that is going to happen. So the request will receive by the Nginx where the GeoIP API service is running and it is accessible by the Nginx web server. So then Nginx will extract the IP address of the request that is received. And by using the auth request module, it'll try to make a request to the GeoIP API service. So then the response that is received will hold the information about the IP address of the client. So you can do anything you want with that data like for example adding it to the log data that will be written on a file so if you want to learn more about how to customizing logs or how to making use of the auth request module i've got all that videos in my playlist where you can find the link down in the description section so then Nginx will maybe proxy pass the request to another service. Also, we can control that the geolocation data should be sent to that service or not, and then we'll send back the response to the client. Also, we can control that Nginx sent the geolocation data back to client or not. So here I've got the Docker Hub page of the image that we're going to use. I explain more about how this image gets updated each week of each year and why you should keep in mind to update your image each week if you want to have accurate data. So if you want to learn more about this GeoIP API service, you can watch my previous video where you can find the link also down in the description section. So if I switch to the codes over here, as you can see, I've got a docker compose file and an nginx.conf file in my GitHub repository where I'll put all the files that I create on my videos and also you can find the link down in the description section. So in this docker compose file, I've got two services, one being the nginx using the nginx alpine official image and only one volume mounted to it which is dot slash nginx.conf file which is located next to the docker compose file to inside the container on the slash etc nginx nginx.conf file and also it has a port map to outside which is exactly the port that will configure the nginx to listen on so by mapping this will be able to access the Nginx running inside the container from the outside network. And the other service, I've got the GeoIP service over here, which is using the observability stack GeoIP API image that we just saw the Docker Hub page for it. And also it has a port map to outside, which is 8081 to 8080 inside the container so we can remove this part if we don't want to access this service from the outside network and only we want the nginx to talk to it so next i've got the nginx.com file over here firstly i've got a http block a server block inside it configured to listen on the exact port that is mapped to outside the container and here i've got a basic configuration to set the IP address of the request from the x forwarded for header of the request 
and over here I've got an alt request configuration to the at sign GeoIP which is defined down over here so this is an internal location which will proxy pass to GeoIP on port 8080 which is the service name of the GeoIP container in the exact same docker compose file so nginx will be able to talk to the GeoIP using its service name because they are in the exact same docker compose file and the network that will be created will be shared among the nginx service and GeoIP service also so by setting an additional header with the name of x geoip address which is the exact header that the geoip service will be checking and returning the data of that same ip address so i've set the dollar remote address to this header which is the ip address of the request that is received by nginx so with this configuration a request will be sent to the GeoIP including the header that holds the IP address of the request. So scrolling to the top over here I've tried to transfer the header values returned from the auth request into nginx variables like for example by saying auth request set and defining the name of the variable and evaluating it with the dollar upstream http x geoip country which is returned from the auth request that is sent to the geoip service so doing the same for the other data that will be received by the geoip service so at this point we've got some variables that holds the data received from the geoip service and here the thing that i'm trying to do is to use these variables and adding them as headers to the response that will be sent back to the client so in the location slash which will be responsible for all the requests i've got some configuration to proxy pass the request to an echo server that is also running on my machine if i go to this url over here as you can see it is a service that echoes whatever request that it receives also if you want to create an echo server for yourself i've got the relevant files over here and by only saying docker compose up in this directory you'll be able to have your own echo server running on your defined port over here so going back to the configuration right now we're able to see all the integrations and connections between these services so by going to the terminal i'll hit ls to make sure i'm in the exact same directory where my docker compose and nginx configuration file exists so only by saying docker compose up dash d i'll be able to spin up the containers also a network attaching to those containers so by saying docker compose ps i'll try to make sure that my containers are up and running and the ports are mapped exactly based on whatever i configured so by using a curl command i'll try to make requests to these services so i'll copy this curl command over here paste it on my terminal so this curl command will try to list the headers and also it will try to send the x geoip address header to the local host 8081 so by hitting enter will try to make a request to directly to the geoip service so as we can see it returns the information about the ip address that we provided to it but this request isn't passing through the nginx so for that reason i'll try to make another request this time for the localhost port 9999 which is the port that is exposed from the nginx container but this time i'll try to pass in the x forwarded for header with some random ip address also trying to list the headers so if i hit enter as you can see the request is sent to the nginx these are some headers that are set by nginx itself and as you can see over here i've got the exact same data that is received from the geoip service itself 
so the reason that I'm getting these headers is in the nginx.com file in this section over here as you can see by using the add header configuration I'm adding all the data that is received from the JOIP service also if you want to send the JOIP data to the upstream server which is in this case the echo server so if I say curl and paste in the echo server's IP port as you can see by default there are no data related to the IP location and also if I hit the curl to the nginx I'll remove the dash si over here and if I hit enter this is the exact same response from the echo server also doesn't have any data related to the IP address location so in order to forward the IP location data to upstream service I'll move to the nginx.com file I'll try to uncomment this section where by using the proxy set header and by passing the headers name and using the variables that that we defined based on the data received from the JOIP service I'll try to pass in some headers to the upstream service also so if I hit save I'll try to reload Nginx so the Nginx's configurations are reloaded again if I hit a curl to the Nginx I'll hit enter and over here as you can see I've got x JOIP long and x JOIP lat evaluated from the JOIP service through the auth request module so that's all for this video I hope you learned something new in this one don't forget to watch the previous video to deep dive a little bit in the JOIP service and also don't forget to watch other videos in my Nginx playlist to learn more about the auth request modules and logging and every other cool features that Nginx provides so as I mentioned I've got all the links my github repository link down in the description section if you want you can access them easily and also don't forget to like and subscribe and with that I hope to see you in the next videos